Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In a recent episode, I alluded to the STD in place T constructor overload for variant. And today, I am going to cover what that means and how it can be used. Now, we're going to start with standard optional. And standard optional, you can see here, has this in place T that then takes some args. And let's go ahead and look at variant as well. And we can see that constructor for variant is about the same. It has an in place type T. This one takes a template parameter. And then it also, we have versions that take an initializer list. And we have a version that takes a variadic parameter set of args and a version that takes um, an index t. And all of these are const expr. And similarly, std any takes an in place type t that has some sort of value type and a set of args. Now, kind of the obvious question is, what is the point of all of this? And the point comes down to efficiently constructing or using any of these types. And I will attempt to come up with some good examples and we'll see if we can get something that shows us anything different for various options. Now, for the sake of this example, I am going to use optional. But as we saw, these can all apply to all of the different types. So if we wanted an optional of vector, like this, and we're just default constructing it here, which is going to initialize it as empty. And we wanted to create this with a vector of three ints that are all equal to the value three. Now, if we had this, we now have a vector with three ints that all have the value three. This is how the constructor to vector works. And if we wanted to move this into our optional, we could. This will almost certainly generate some more code. But it didn't. The compiler outsmarted us in this particular case. So this is, again, one of these things where it's going to be a little bit difficult to actually do something that shows a difference in the amount of code generated. This is one option for how we can construct our optional, but the point was in place t. So if we wanted to create this thing, we can do it like this. So in the first case, we can create it, and then we can move the value in. In the second place, we create it with this value, but really, this is all quite verbose. What we really want to do is just say, hey, I would like to call the constructor for that vector in place. And this is the point of this all to optional or variant or any, is that we can say, I want to create this thing exactly where I want it to reside. So let us look at a similar version for any. And this is can be thought of as the in place call when we are talking about our new containers that were added, uh, the updates that were made to the containers in C++11. So if we wanted to create an any that contains a vector of this thing that was created in place. Now, creating it in place is going to be better than moving it, almost always, unless the compiler can outsmart us. So we want to do this in place type T. And this is how it can work with any. We are saying that we want to create something of this type, and we want to pass these values to its constructor. And if you recall, there was also a version. Let's modify one of our optionals. There was also a version that could take an initializer list. So we could do something like this. And now let's see if the compiler still is able to inline enough. Actually, let's reduce some of the noise here. 
we are expecting that we want to get five back out from this because we created something with an initializer list of five values. And we can see here that the compiler has in fact optimized this to move five into EIX and so that is exactly what we expected it to do since that is the size of our vector that we have just created and it was able to optimize that enough. So I would strongly argue that in place t, in place type t, and in place index should become part of your vocabulary when you are working with these things so that you can efficiently create these objects in place and avoid moves and copies whenever necessary. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check out any of the other links to other videos.